Hey everybody, so today I wanted to show you how in your Windows 11 setup you can bypass having to log into a Microsoft account. Maybe you don't want to have to log into a Microsoft account. You just want to be able to create a local account and not have to have a Microsoft account or create one and be tied to that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have booted this computer up to the Windows 11 setup from a fresh install. Now that's the best way to do it. If you don't have that, that's okay. If you happen to have already gone through one and you're almost halfway through and you just realize you don't want to have to do a Microsoft account, that's okay. We can still fix it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you all the steps that you have to take in order to get that computer to where you don't have to have a Microsoft account. So. On this computer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the country. So I'm going to select United States and click Next. And then it wants to know my keyboard layout. I'm going to choose US. You would want to choose the correct one for your keyboard layout. And then click on Next. And then I'm not going to do another keyboard layout, so I'm going to hit Skip. Now, it wants to connect you to a network. Now, if you've already gotten to this point and you've already connected it, don't worry, it's not a problem. There should be a button somewhere on your computer that you can turn the Wi-Fi off. And if you have a ethernet cable connected in the back or on the side somewhere, you wanna go ahead and disconnect it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press Shift and F10 and that's going to bring up the command prompt and what we're going to do is we're going to click on command prompt if you don't click on it it won't type and then we're going to type in O O B E and then a backslash bypass N R O and then you're going to press enter now give that just a moment what it's doing is it's allowing you to bypass not only the internet, so you don't have to have internet to set it up, but you can also bypass the Microsoft account. So that's going to take just a moment to restart, but as soon as it comes back up, you're going to be great. You're going to be able to go in there. You're going to be able to continue with the setup with no internet. You're going to be able to create a local account and then it's going to take you right to the desktop. And of course, once you're on the desktop of Windows 11, of course you can connect your Ethernet cable. Of course you can connect the Wi-Fi. You can do all the updates. You can do everything at that point. But you'll have a local account and you won't have to use a Microsoft account. So let's give that just a moment to come back up. I'll go ahead and create the account, show you that it comes up, and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so once my country again, I'm going to go ahead and choose United States and go ahead and continue. And then I'm going to click on US for the keyboard layout. And again, you would want to choose your keyboard layout and continue. And then it wants to know if you want to add a second keyboard layout. I'm not going to. I'm going to skip it. And then here is where it wants the internet. But if you'll notice, I can say I don't have internet. So I can click on that and it'll continue on with the setup. And I'm gonna continue with the limited setup. Now it wants to know who's gonna use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and name it IT101 and I'm gonna click on next. And then it wants me to create a password. So give me just a minute and I'll create a password. Okay, and now I'm gonna click next. And then it wants me to verify my password so I'm gonna put it again. Okay, and I'm going to click next. And then it wants some security questions and answers. Just give me a moment. I'll answer a few. You can do the same for yours too. Okay, so I finished filling out all the security questions. Now you can choose the privacy settings for your device if you want to. You can turn things on, turn things off. I'm going to leave everything alone and just continue. And then in just a moment, I'll be at the desktop.
Okay, so as you can see, it took me to the Windows 11 desktop and I did not have to use a Microsoft account in order to finish setting that up. If you do have any questions about this, please leave them down below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to get back to you about this. And if there's a video that you'd like for me to create about Windows 11 or about a Dell computer or just anything else, please let me know that in the comments as well and I'll do my best to create that for you. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I create a Windows 11 account without a Microsoft account? And I'll be glad to keep putting up this content for you all. Thanks so much. I really appreciate you all. God bless. Take care. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.